101. Stardom 101. Stardom 101. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. Shine your light on today's tastemakers and innovators. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. It's Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast here back on iHeartRadio. Thank you, fans, for tuning into this platform, this weekly show, this podcast, where you have requested that we continue to do what we do, feature prominent, talented individuals all across the globe. And today, we got another dope episode. I got my girl, Angie Williams, is in the building. She's doing her thing, Creations by Angie. What's going on? Hello there. How you doing? (laughs) I was going good. It's going good. But y'all, we had a little technical difficulty. We got that thing right for y'all. So I know this is going to be good. <laughs> yes, indeed. We fig- it now. <laughs> there you go. We we figured it out, y'all. We got it. That's what's up. So, Angie, about you, uh, let's start off with your, your career. Uh, I know you create art. But let's give the listeners the backstory on uh, what you do and how long you've been doing. Okay. Sure. Well, First of all, my name is Angie Williams with Creations by Ange. Uh, so I am an abstract artist here in the Chicagoland area. Wow. Um, I started approximately 30 years ago. I started in fashion, doing designs. Then I moved into floor arrangements, then home decor where I was making custom pillows. And then I later got into art. And this is where I kind of stayed. So I work with different type of medium, mediums with my art. Um, I work with rocks, um, uh, rocks, a mirror, glass. Wow. And, and these are the pieces that I use to construct my images. What? You, now, what? are you self-taught or did anybody teach you this, this talent? Or are you self I, I, I am self, self-taught. Okay. And I, I, did, I did have a mentor uh, mm-hmm. also. But I have taught myself, so yeah, I didn't go to school for this. So this is all, this is all God. <laughs> that's right. No, that's right. That's all, and that's all we need. There we go. That's all we need. Oh, yeah, that's all. <laughs> wow. Okay. So uh, tell me about uh, like some activities or some things that you got coming up. What are you um, working on right now that the listeners can quite anticipate and support you in those endeavors? Okay. Um, there is a, a an event coming up on March the 23rd mm-hmm. at the Tavern of LaGrange. That's in LaGrange, Illinois. Um, I'll be out there selling some of my pieces. Nice. Uh, I think it's from, I'm not sure the exact time. I think it's from five to nine. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's one event that's coming up. I plan to do something in June, the beginning of June. I plan to have a big event at the Red Door, which is in Broadview. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, that's all I have lined up coming up uh, so far. Nice, nice. Now, do you provide mm-hmm. services where you actually people pay you for your services to create custom art or literature or pieces uh, for them? Is that something that you do too? Where you like, you know, I. People love abstract art and they always want, can you draw this of me or can you draw that of yeah. me because we're requests? Yes, I do that too. I do uh, portraits as well. Nice. So I do a lot of uh, commission pieces as well. Nice. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Any uh, <laughs> partnership opportunities? Uh, are you are you big on partnering with certain companies uh, for certain causes, anything like that? Does that, that ring a bell in, anything to you? Um, not right now. Um, mm-hmm. I do partner with another artist, Rashawn Taylor. Um, he has a like clothing line as well. Mm-hmm. So we're planning to do something in the near future uh, this year sometime, but we haven't set anything up yet. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Are you big on mm-hmm. uh, doing collaborations with like the youth, uh, doing things for the youth as well, or uh, open up opportunities where you can actually teach um, you know, with programs, mm-hmm. any things of that nature yeah. for, for, for the kids as well? Yes, I'm glad you mentioned it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I am thinking about um, doing some classes for the nice. youth and also for the seniors. I have I also, I got my art therapy certificate uh, this year. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking to do more into teaching art 
this year as a, as opposed to just um, being commissioned to do art. Nice. Nice, nice. I, mm -hmm. I can see a good lane for you there, there too. That's that's people, you know, like I said, programs and um, these kids need activities, healthy things to do as well, too. Uh, creative space, you Absolutely. know, arts is always good for the kids, keep their mind focused. Oh, yes. <laughs> but, yeah, Absolutely. Was, yeah, that what, was one of the what, questions. <laughs> yes. And what yeah. made me want to pursue this is that um, my mom is dealing with like the beginning stage of dementia. Oh, wow. And so I was reading of how I can help her. Mm. And one of the and one of the things that came up is like art therapy. Wow. So so this is another reason why I want to get into like teaching and getting people involved because art is actually therapy. I mean, mm. when I do my art, when I construct like break my my mirror, mm -hmm. that's therapy for me. So mm. I'm like, it helps me. So I, I know it can help somebody else. Oh, absolutely. And I mm -hmm. totally agree with that. It is therapeutic. Uh, for yeah. you, Angie, do you have um, any any thoughts of getting your own studio or, or own your own space? Or, you know, have you ever thought about that in your own studio, create some opportunities, events for people at the studio too? Or you just kind of want to do it the way you got it now? Well, right now, um, I, I do work in my studio downstairs, mm -hmm. but I am looking to get a storefront. Nice. I'm looking to talk to our mayor here in um here in Broadview. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking to uh possibly give it get in an event uh space where I can actually teach art. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. fantastic, fantastic. Uh what are some of the um future endeavors you probably don't have right now um on your plate, but are you thinking of any other ways to expand your brand, your art brand, your art? Uh, what you do for, as far as the creative space? Have you thought of any other realms where you can put your pieces uh, into? Mm -hmm. like, let's say film, let's say, you know, you can, we live in a time where everything kind of cross-reference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fashion, <laughs> merchandise, right? Yeah. People put their stuff on Prada. Um, yeah. Have you thought of any other expanding ideas uh, or maybe some things that just maybe intrigue you? So I'm. Um, I was actually looking into uh, the Tyler Perry Perry Studios in Atlanta. Oh, okay. So I've been there already. So I'm trying to get some of my pieces on some of his shows. Nice, nice. That'd be huge. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. So that's yeah. one of the plans for. That's one of the plans for the summer. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Who who inspires Angie? Who who like. Is there an artist, um, someone in your lane, your realm that you inspire, you motivate you, or um, even while you were younger, or even perhaps now, is there someone that you look up to or that you, you can inspire through that's in your industry? Oh, yes. My mentor, mm -hmm. Abi Abiola Akinto. Ak Akinto. I always get his name mixed up. It's <laughs> Abiola uh, Akintola. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Abiola. <laughs> but he has been... He has been my inspiration. He keeps yeah. me motivated and keeps, he keeps me driven. Mm -hmm. So I, I I honestly look up to him. Right now, he's actually mentoring me and he's also teaching teaching me uh sculpturing. Wow. So that'd be my next, my my next art piece is a sculpture. Nice, so, nice. That's, yeah. that's a beautiful lane there. <laughs> oh yes. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. What's your favorite time of the day or favorite time of the year to create? Is there like something uh, that, you know, because artists like yourself, you know, you, you got to have the right mindset, everything. I'm pretty yeah. sure there's, a, there's a, a technique that go into what you do. You can't just go and just, you know, randomly put things out there. So for you, is there is there a zone that you get into a time of day or perhaps a year, season? Um. I love creating in the spring and summer months, oh. and that's what I do by creating on the outside. Um, but there, there is no particular like time or day. Okay. Uh, if I'm feeling it, it can be at midnight. You mm. know, if I'm feeling it, I get up and I start creating. Um, so yeah, if I'm feeling it, I'm gonna get up at any time and I'm gonna start creating. Wow. So there's no particular time when I do it, but I do love I do particularly love the summer months, the hot months. Okay. That way it gives me a choice to work inside or outside. Gotcha. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Describe um Angie, if you could how art is um uh, so important to society. Uh I know it, you know it. We have 
amazing uh, historical artists who paved the way, uh, beautiful portraits, beautiful things. How is, to you, how is art important uh, to society right now, just in general? I think art is important because, um, again, as we mentioned, art is very therapeutic. Mm -hmm. And we're living in a time where people are, are living with like mental disorders, they have mental disabilities. And I think art is a form to help in that in that aspect. Mm -hmm. So that's why I believe that art is uh is so critical. Mm. Um it, it relaxes you, it puts your mind in a different state. So mm -hmm. I think it's good for you know for mental challenges. So yeah, wow. art is very, very critical. Yeah. Has it helped you in other areas of your life personally on your journeys or your endeavors, dark seasons of your life, happy seasons? Is it has it done something for you that reconnects you um and keeps you going? Oh yes. Art is my life. Yeah. So art when I'm stressed out from leaving my nine to five, I mm. come home and I do art and it, it relieves the stress. Wow. And during COVID. Uh, which was the worst time for everyone. Yeah. That's when I did my 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 most work during that time. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Really mm -hmm. in production mode because we're absorbing oh, yeah. so much yeah. in. So you gotta try to get that energy right up out of you. You don't want to sit with all that nine to five and that that daily that life craziness all all inside of us. So I could I could totally yeah. wait. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, great. Fantastic. What's the best way for the listeners, Angie, to um, support your project, your pieces, your literature, uh, your art, um, things that you have going on, going on and currently working on? Is there a website? Is there a social media platform that you want people to go to to uh, stay tuned? Sure. Uh, my, my Facebook platform is Angie Williams, which is my personal platform, but mm -hmm. I post on there as well. I have a, a creation by Angie Beach on Facebook as well. Uh, my Instagram is Angie Williams 9479. And my website is www.creationsbyinch.com. But with my website, it's not updated, however, but mm -hmm. my social media pages, I update that uh, more often than I do my, my website. Fantastic. There you go, listeners and fans. Make sure y'all contact her. Her information is actually going to be in the yeah. show notes of this episode. So if you want the pieces done, if you want her services, like I said, she's she's based out there. She, out, she Look, she's working. <laughs> I am. The girl is working. <laughs> I know that's right. And she's available to help you if you need it. She got things that she's working on, like programs, pieces, art. Uh, make sure you guys support. Reach out to this woman. She's doing an amazing thing. And like you said, art is therapeutic. It changes lives and saves lives. Really, where will we be without it? I'll tell you that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you so much, Angie, for your time. And uh, yes, so, autumn supporters, uh, you know what to do. You know how we do every each and every episode. Follow up with our fans, follow up with our guests. And until next time, we appreciate you guys. Peace. Are you on the rise to stardom? Well, get featured in the next issue of Stardom 101 magazine and promote your business or products today. Text MAG to 804-550-8647 or visit stardom101mag.net. You're listening to the Stardom 101 magazine podcast with Christopher Boykin. Be sure to subscribe and download this episode, and continue to listen to Stardom on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts.